Appreciate everybody coming out. Um, talk about the last game for a few minutes, uh, a few moments here. I uh, thought we played hard. I was really pleased with our defense. Thought we gave great effort uh, defensively. And felt like uh, we put uh, – <laughs> Our offense put our defense in a couple of uh, bad situations from time to time, but I uh, felt like um, they, they did a great job and was pleased with how many turnovers we created. Was obviously excited about Vince Serrata, all-time leading scorer in school history. That's a great honor. Um, he's a very talented young man, and, and it's kind of like his whole body of work. He's just kind of been consistent for four years and really proud for him. Uh, it was a great win. It's good to start off 2-0, and but uh, now we open up a conference and um, we got a lot of work to do. Very, very tough opponent coming in. Very talented, a lot of size, doing a great job offensively and defensively. Really don't know if they have many weaknesses. Um, it's Gold South Conference football and it's going to be a lot of fun on Saturday and we're excited about the challenge. So. Not to, not to commit penalties. Um, I really don't. You know, we had a bunch of false starts. I mean, it's been addressed. It's been talked about. Uh, normally, we play cleaner than that. We did not play clean on Saturday. Uh, you can say it's a lack of focus. You can say whatever. Uh, but we got a long ways to go. So uh, we've got to continue to work on those things and uh, see if we can improve this week. But yeah, that's that's something that's uh, glaring. You know, is a lot of penalties on our football team right now. So, a lot of them were just lack of focus penalties too. Offensively, I felt like so we got to get those things cleaned up. We're going to work on that this week. As far as the West Georgia, what are some of the things that they do best on both sides of the ball? Well, uh, I think. They've got a really good secondary and really good front. Defensively, they're just really, really solid as always. They're fast, they're physical, they're big. Um, they do a great job not giving up big plays. Um, you know, they don't give up a lot of points, don't give up a lot of rushing. And it always starts, you know, they're going to try to do everything they can to stop the run and make you one-dimensional, which is what great defenses do. Offensively, very efficient quarterback, I think, has thrown five touchdowns, zero picks. Uh, very high percentage of completions, run the ball extremely well. They're very balanced. Uh, they've got three or four running backs that can hurt you. They've got big time receivers. Uh, and in special teams, they just don't make many mistakes. I mean, you got to play all three phases. You got to play extremely well and extremely hard and, uh, in order to give yourselves a chance to win the game. I mean, they're a really good football team. Yeah, I mean, you got to be physical. It's Gulf South Conference play, and, and they're a physical bunch, and we feel like we're a physical bunch. I think it'll be a four-buckle game come Saturday. I mean, it's going to be – you better lock in, and there's going to be some licks past both sides of the ball, and that's the way football was meant to be played. So, we've got to be ready for that, and they got to be ready for that, and I think both teams will be. been watching the film on West Georgia. Uh, have you seen a lot of stuff that you saw with David Dean talking about all the state? They're running some of the same schemes, or are they – I mean, I think Coach Dean, uh, he's just a great offensive coach, but I mean, I think that, that he understands that, that he's probably adapted to some of the things that they do well there. I mean, yeah, there, I mean, you can, see, you can see David Dean's footprints over the whole program. You know, he's done a great job, but, uh, you know, they, those guys, West Georgia's had a, a history of being able to run the football, and uh, that started back when Coach Hall and those guys got there, and they've continued to do that. And, um, you know, they, they still do that very well. Uh, they're throwing the ball a lot better this year, which is, you know, that's a lot. I think Coach Dean's got a lot of influence on that. He always threw the ball well at Valdosta. Uh, they're just a well-coached team, you know, and figure well, that's exactly what they would be. Well, we're going to see Saturday at two. I think that's a, I think that's a great uh, kind of a stat within the stat. Is I think it's going to come down to anytime you play big games, and this is a big game, um, who's going to run the ball best? Who's going to stop the run the best? And uh, I think that's at the end of the day, that's still what it's going to come to. That that and turnovers, you know, and 
Um, you know, Andy mentioned the penalties. We've got to do a better job of that, obviously. You can't create – you can't have penalties against a team like this. Not the way we've had them. You know, you're just not going to get away with it. you got to protect the ball better than we did Saturday. We understand that. But um, I just think it's going to always come down to that. Who can run it and who can stop it. So. I think it helps. I think there's no doubt. I mean, it's kind of a one-two punch. Um, and we need them both to be playing well this Saturday. I mean, we got to get them both going, and we understand that. Um, they're talented guys. Uh, so, you know, I mean, there's no, no secret what we're going to try to do. I mean, we're going to try to run the football. You know, that's kind of what we do right now. And, um, you know, but it, it, I hope they just continue to play well. They've played well so far, and we got to keep them healthy and keep them going. I, I, I'm pleased with how he played, but I'm pleased with how a lot of guys played over there. You know, I mean, he, he didn't just – when he was getting free and, and doing what he did, I mean, there's ten other guys doing their job as well. And I think Ovi would be the first one to tell you that. Uh, he's a good player. You know, he's a good kid. He's a fine young man, great great grades, uh, hardworking guy. Um, I, I really like how he handles himself, very mature young man. And, you know, I'm, I'm excited for him. Uh, but uh, I'm excited right now for the defense. And, and, uh, but, the, the, you know, it's like they said. I mean, that one's over with. we got to learn from it and move on. We're playing a better football team this week. Everybody knows that. I mean, I think they're ranked, what, 17th? Is that right? If they're 16 teams better than them, I really don't want to see them because uh, those, those guys are really good. And uh, it's going to be a challenge. He's got some speed. I mean, he's got some speed. He's an explosive type guy. Keelan Wilson came in there as a true freshman and got some carries, did some really good things, you know. Uh, very pleased with how those guys progressed. Coach Fletcher's done a good job with both of those guys, bringing them along, you know. But um, Trey, Trey made some big runs the other day, and so did Keelan. So that was, that was fun to see. On the, uh, on the quarterback side, after Rick had a good day is the first week, second week he struggled able to bring in Colin and he did well. Talk about that, uh, that, that depth and, and flexibility right now you have, you have at that position. Well, I think they're two, two guys that uh, understand our offense. They're two guys uh, that have some experience playing football. You know, uh, Colin Willis is one of my favorite players that we've ever had here. Um, you know, there was a guy that got hurt a year ago. And he'll be the first one to tell you he had to sit out for like six or seven weeks and sit. And when he came back, he was actually better than when he left. And uh, he said it was because of his mental reps. He stayed engaged every day. He watched. He watched film. And that just goes to show you how important mental reps are because uh, there's a guy that did it. So I was real pleased with Colin. Uh, Colin's a competitor. Obviously, he wants to be the starter. Breck's our starter right now. And, um, you know, Breck struggled a little bit Saturday. We've addressed it. I mean, I expect him to bounce back and play better this week. They're having fun. They're having fun. They enjoy what they're doing. Um, they are having a blast coming to practice. They play for each other. Uh, it's, a, it's a game, and they're having fun playing defense right now. And uh, they're flying around. I think the other thing that's helping us is we're, you know, our, we, sim we simplified our system. Uh, Coach Partridge has done an amazing job um, with that side of the ball, just simplifying some things and letting these guys play free and putting them in good situations and uh but they're having fun and that's uh <laughs> that's half the battle I think you know and uh we've got to try to find that as well on offense um you know and and I think you'll see us play a little better too you know I think we were playing a little scared to make a mistake and I'll be honest I think a lot of that's on me you know on, on how I am you know I'm I'm uh too demanding at times, and I've got to I've got to relax a little bit, you know, and just enjoy this football team. We got a good we got a good bunch of kids, man. I, I really enjoy being around them every day. Um, yeah, they sometimes they don't do everything I want them to do, and uh, you know we sometimes we we'll miss a class here and there, and, and we got to work on that. But when it's time to come to meetings and go to practice, those guys they're fired up and they're on time and they're there and they're ready to roll. So 
hopefully we can get one in today with this weather, and, and we need it. So. I mean, I don't think either one of us want to go down and go into this game and be down two touchdowns. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> here's what I think. I think it's going to be a really good football game on Saturday afternoon. I'm excited about it, and uh, I know they are too. And uh, we're going to see what happens at 2 o'clock on Saturday afternoon.